Hey everybody, it's Book Crazy Katie, and today's video is the 12 hour readathon and buddy read vlog. And you can find me on social media at the following links. Hey everyone, it's Book Crazy Katie. Today's Saturday, and I am Saturday, February 2nd, and I'm a, or February 3rd. I don't even know the date. It's 1 30 in the afternoon. I'm gonna try to start the readathon. Today I'm not starting Anne of Green Gables yet. I want to try to read a little bit of Avenues of Mysteries by John Irving. I'm towards the end of the book, but I don't know if I'll actually finish it this weekend because I do want to spend time with Anne of Green Gables. And I am about to make myself some food right now. I woke up super late today. I woke up at 1 p.m., but I was out pretty late last night, too. I am making myself some ramen noodles. Not exactly breakfast food, but that's what I feel like eating right now. Alright, I'll check in in a little bit and tell you how my reading's going. I'm probably going to put some YouTube videos on while I read, and we'll see how distracted that keeps me. So guys, I just finished eating. I just finished eating food, and now I'm officially going to start reading Avenues of Mystery, which is right there. If you saw it, hopefully it turned out clear. And then... I'm also watching Book Battles, uh, Small Booktuber Edition, on Kale's Corners channel. I'll update you with how some actual reading goes. I'll probably read for like a half hour and brush my teeth and stuff and get presentable. Hey guys, so I read for an hour from 2.07 to 3.07. I read 12 pages. I was also watching Book Battles, which is a Jeopardy style show hosted by Kale's Corner. And so I was pretty distracted during the time. I'm probably going to start reading again right now. And hopefully I get more done in the next hour. But maybe I'll distract myself some more. Who knows? We'll see. Hey everybody. It's with Crazy Katie. I read another hour and a half. Which gets me to nine and a half hours left towards my goal of 12 hours over the weekend of reading. And right now I'm about to go and do a late Christmas party with my boyfriend for his work. Hey everybody, I just got back from my boyfriend's Christmas work party. We ended up with the winning a bubble machine. <laughs> oh my god, my nephew watches this. <coughs> we ended up watching a bubble machine for um, our white elephant party. And I stole it from one of the other people and then they tried to steal it all inconspicuous uh what is it still inconspicuously yes and i realized like pretty instantly that it had disappeared and their present got put in put in our spot instead so i got it back they were they eventually returned it <coughs> but now i'm gonna get comfy in my pajamas and probably do <coughs> hey guys it's Sunday morning at 11.30 in the morning. I didn't check in last night before I went to sleep. I was pretty tired. However, I read another two and a half hours after the party last night. And that brought my total for yesterday to five hours of reading. And I read 101 pages. And I read 69 pages in Avenue of Mysteries, which I haven't been saying too much about because... One, it's um, one of my top five predicted books, and I'll be talking about it. And so is Anne of Green Gables, but it's one of them. Both Anne of Green Gables and Avenue of Mysteries are part of my five-star prediction, but I'll probably do a little bit of reacting to Anne of Green Gables because I'm starting from the beginning and I'm not giving anything away. But Avenue of Mysteries is a literary fiction novel, if you're interested, and it's about this guy, Juan Diego, and his life, and it follows like two chronologies. Um, there's Juan Diego's past which was with his sister in Mexico and there's a few other people. And then there's Juan Diego's future which is him in, as an older man and he's going to the Philippines and I think he's trying to do some um, there's a soldier that he and his sister, or actually not a soldier, a draft dodger that he and his sister knew who ended up getting killed when they were young around the same time his mom, their mom died. And he's trying to like restore some peace for him, you know, 
just on a spiritual kind of journey. And he hasn't really done anything specifically to that. And there's some other stuff that's going on in the Philippines. He's staying with like a former student and his wife in the Philippines. And then there's this random group and these random two women that are mother and daughter that he meets. And it's definitely an adult novel. Not necessarily for kids. If you're mature enough and your parents don't mind what you read and you're a teen, go ahead. But just FYI, there's some sexually explicit language, explicit language in the book. And then um, I started Anne of Green Gables last night. I read about 32 pages. I got the, the third chapter, which is on page 32. And so far I'm really enjoying it. It was a nice change of pace because... Although I'm really enjoying Avenue of Mysteries, it's just a little bit more dense to read and taking a little bit longer. And I'm enjoying this change of pace with Anne of Green Gables, and she's quite talkative, and I can just imagine it, especially since I watched, like, the first episode or two of Anne of Green Gables. I can just, like, imagine that girl's voice in my head talking, and I know there's a lot of people that say they don't like that adaptation and that it didn't live up to the book but so far from what I've seen it seems like it's doing pretty well and in a way Anne kind of makes me think of myself when I was little I was really chatty and talkative I could be shy and I don't think she's necessarily shy but once I started to talk and get used to people I just kind of don't shut up and so it's interesting, and I'm going to try to get started again. I might start with Anna Green Gables and then go back to Avenue of Mysteries in a, a little bit. But just wanted to let you guys know where I was. Hey, everybody. I read for an hour earlier, and now I'm getting food. I just took a shower a little bit ago. I'm at the grocery store trying to find something to eat for now. I will go home, eat, and read when I have a chance. Hey guys, I just finished reading for like another three hours after I ate food earlier and I read more of both Avenues of Mysteries and Anne of Green Gables. I have read 77 pages so far today, I want to say it was, yeah, 77 pages so far and I am now at 9 hours of my 12 hours to read for the weekend. So, I feel like I'm going to make it. Maybe I'll get a little more. Maybe I'll get it right there. But I think I'll make it, and I'm pretty excited. I have to say with Anne of Green Gables, I'm really enjoying it. I feel that Anne, like, really speaks her mind. And not just, like, her mind, but just she feels so much. And she just lets everybody know exactly what she's feeling. And she's so imaginative with everything. And it's really refreshing to read. And I think that's part of just being a little girl, you know, but being as expressive as she is about it is pretty awesome. And, like, I feel like Anne would have grown up to be a writer, uh, um, like, doing some kind of artistic thing for a job, whether it was filmmaking or writing or drawing, painting. She just has such a vivid imagination, I feel like. It would have had to had an outlet as an adult, but I'm definitely enjoying, and I feel like I'm gonna have to read the rest of the series later on, get my hands on them, because I'm really, really taken by the book. And then I'm getting close to finishing Avenue of Mysteries. I don't know if I'll actually make it tonight since I am switching off, but. It's making it a little nicer to switch off with another book and just breaks up some of the monotony with it. Don't get me wrong, Avenue of Mysteries is great. It's just, like I said earlier, it's a denser read and just requires more. And it just takes a little bit longer to read through a page than it does to read through a page of Anne of Green Gables. And so... That's my update for now. Right now, I think I'm about to go bust into some chips and salsa. And I got, I'm going to show you guys the chips and salsa I got because I like them. So I got Santita's white corn chips. And then I also have a locally made salsa. And I think I got, what did I get this time? 
And then the salsa I got is Casa Lindra hot salsa, and it's made in Arcata, California. Yummy! I'm looking forward to it. Chips and salsa, chips and salsa. Not even looking at you guys. Hey everyone. So I made it to 12 hours, and I'm actually a little bit past, and I surprisingly got through Avenue of Mysteries. Now I'm gonna get my teeth ready for bedtime and put on some pajamas and hopefully I'll have a little bit more time to read and pick up a little bit more or get a little further along in Anne of Green Gables. I am currently on page 115 in Anne of Green Gables and I hope that I get a little further along and once I finish for the night or with my final summary, I'll tell you how many pages I read over the weekend. And I'm happy that I did well. That I got as much reading done as I did. Uh, like I said, I didn't necessarily read as many pages as I possibly could have. I've definitely read more in a day before. But, you know, I am happy with what I got. And I've been struggling with reading a lot at once. It's not that I haven't been interested in any of my books. I just haven't been reading a lot of stuff at once and this kind of forced me to focus on my books on hand so that helps them. So this is bookaxe.com and while I I can touch my tablet here and so it has a my recommendations, a browse bookcases, my TBR, my bookcase, my graveyard, and popular books. Find other books I've read. So here I am, I'm just scrolling down trying to see. I'm sorry about the glare guys, it looks like there's going to be quite a bit of glare. So I've just been trying to figure out how to do this and how to rate things and whatever else, you know. Um, I guess there's no star rating. It looks like you end up with like, in your bookshelves as you read stuff, you end up with some different shelves and the higher the shelf the more you like the book and the lower the shelf the our book for books you don't like so much. And so I'm trying to figure out their whole thing, but they're claiming that it gives some pretty good um good recommendations based on what you shelve and don't shelve, so I'm thinking it's worth checking out and seeing. If you guys would like to hear more about bookaxe.com, maybe I can um get acquainted with it for a while and do a video tutorial review of it and let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. Alright, well I'm gonna go and hopefully I get some reading done tonight. If not, I'll try to read more tomorrow and pay a little less attention to the TV and be less lazy once I get home tomorrow. Hey everyone, I'm just checking in again. So today is Tuesday, February 6th, and I got to read for maybe about an hour tonight and a little bit on the bus this morning and a little bit at work. So I'm on page 191 of Anne of Green Gables, and of course Anne's getting into more trouble because it seems like she's always doing a little something to get into trouble or getting offended by this or that by people and losing her temper. I still am enjoying the book quite a bit. Um, I just got to the part where Diana and the Raspberry Cordial incident happened. I don't want to go too far into it for anyone that hasn't read the book, but it just was kind of funny, and I'm looking to see how that whole situation will clear up. And Anne's back at school, which... But I'm still not into the... I'm just... I don't know what I'm saying anymore. However, like I said, I'm still enjoying the book, and hopefully I'll get through it in the next couple days. I'm just reading a little bit here and there. Sorry, this isn't going as a fast read, but this is kind of how my reading goes. I usually get the read just a little bit, and not as much as I'd like to, so... I'm... Guys, I'm tired, so I tend to ramble when I'm tired. Hey guys, so I'm still reading Anne of Green Gables. I'm on page, what is it? Page 253 in it out of 426, I believe it is. And today's Saturday, 
February 10th and I haven't posted or recorded anything in the last couple days because I've kind of fallen asleep three days in a row pretty early. One day I woke up and had a hard time sleeping and then that made me tired for the next day and then of course yesterday was my Friday and I was just tired after work and had some dental work done and so it hurt my head so I slept a long time overnight. Sorry for the shakiness. I know I'm shaking it. But today, my boyfriend and I went to some thrift stores. We got a bunch of games, um, Wii games and um, PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 games. And I found a few books. So I'll show you the books I found. And I know I'm not looking. I'm trying to find. Ah, there we go. I think I got three books only. I could be wrong, but I got... My grandmother asked me to tell you she's sorry by Frederick Bachman and I read a man called Uwe and really enjoyed it so I'm looking forward to checking this book out. And then I got The Witches by Roald Dahl along with The BFG by Roald Dahl. So I'm looking forward to reading those. I just read Matilda not that long ago. I have seen The Witches before. I haven't seen The BFG yet. Uh huh. And then we got some games and we found a Wii draw pad and then I found a tablet case that's purple and purple is my favorite color. So I'm hoping that this tablet case will fit on my Kindle Fire that I have and I'll be pretty excited if it does. If not, it's not that big of a deal. Hey guys, just checking up. Just to let you know, I didn't read very much yesterday. I made it to page 284 in Anne of Green Gables. And that's all I read yesterday. I didn't read anything else. And I spent a lot of time sh doing some online shopping stuff online after getting home from the thrift store. And just kind of ended up not reading that much yesterday. But overall, I had a good day yesterday. I tested out some video games that we got, um, we got yesterday and today we tested out our UDraw. We got both UDraw Studio and UDraw Pictionary and we bought the tablet yesterday at a thrift store and it all works so that's pretty cool. And we played a, round, a short round of Pictionary and then today I tested out the other games that we got which I got like a Donkey Kong game and then he got Modern Warfare and Metroid a Metroid game, and then I got, uh, I got another game, I think. And then I also tested out one that I, like, bought a while back ago, Rayman. And I don't think I really liked Rayman. I don't know which one I have, but I don't quite get the point of the game, if there is any. I thought there'd be some kind of story mode or something, but it doesn't seem like there is. I'm not really sure what's going on in the game. Alright. So I'm gonna try to read now for a couple hours, and maybe I'll get further along. <laughs> And then, like I said, I have been enjoying the book. Oh, one thing I've been wanting to say is the more I read this and the more Anne, like, gets into trouble and stuff, I kind of, and it, a lot of it's kind of, like, innocent trouble, too. It kind of makes me think of Amelia Bedelia books, which the last time I even glanced at one, I was, like, a teenager and tried to get my nephew interested in them, and he had no care in the world for, for it, you know? Yeah, but, um, like I said, kind of makes me think of Amelia Bedelia. I'm kind of wondering if there's, like, the writer of Amelia Bedelia maybe, like, was influenced by Anne of Green Gables at all or whatever, and I'm kind of rambling. But, yeah. And then the other thing is, yesterday, right before we left the house to go to the thrift stores, I had set my book on the bed, and it was kind of set, like, this. And so I ended up bending some pages in the corner of my book right here, which probably doesn't show up that well, but right along here, it's all, all creased now, and I'm kind of bummed about that. But sometimes accidents happen. I just need to be more careful in the future. Hey, everyone. So it's December, December 12th. I never know what month it is. It is February 12th, and um, it's 11.18 at night, and I just finished Anne of Green Gables. It made me teary-eyed, it made me laugh a little bit at the end, 
and I'm very curious to see where the series like goes from here. I was surprised to see how much Anne grew up. I didn't expect to see that much of her life pass. In just the first book, I thought that maybe we'd see her grow up a little bit as the book progressed and I mean as the series. Um, however, like I said, I really do enjoy it. I uh, I really like the last couple of pages of the book and I was happy to see the ending that it had. Although there was also a part of the book that made me very teary and wasn't too happy to see that as I had to um, have something like that be happening. And I'm excited to see where it takes off in the future. And I will try to get this video up to you guys as soon as possible. Um, it might take me a while just because today was my Monday. And I don't really want to do that much after work a lot of days. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And maybe one day I'll get better about vlogging and actually show you stuff of me. Like time lapses of me reading or... Um, me actually out and about as I'm doing stuff.